Example three, solve for theta if tan theta equals negative 0 0.75 over the interval 0 to 360 degrees. So again, that interval is always going to be stated. So it doesn't matter if it's a decimal or a fraction, you're going to do the question the same way. In fact, if with the decimal, you don't have to remember the brackets in your calculators. The first thing you're going to find is your reference angle. So remember, no negative sign in the calculator. So that's important. We have that, you know, from, from here. So that's just that same rule. We don't need to write it out again. But so in my calculator, I'm going to go shift 10.75, and there's my reference angle of 36.869, etc. So 36.869, if I don't want to write them all, I just leave it in my calculator, that's fine. I always write three or four decimals. Now I need to look at what the... Um, signs are going to be um where for the or the what the sign is in the quadrants so just because we can't see our cast rule it's up above there i'll write it here again so tan is negative in the question so that would mean positive is in one and three so it's negative in two and four so quadrants two quadrant four remember in quadrant two you can refer to the um, top of the page for your rules theta is equal to 180 degrees minus your reference angle so you're going to put that in your calculator, and if we go to two decimal places with the correct rounding, it's 143.13 degrees. In quadrant four, theta is equal to 360 degrees minus the reference angle. So eight, theta is equal to 360 minus 36.869, etc. So again, put three or four decimals in. 323.13 degrees. So here's your two answers. And again, I just want it to be sort of really stand out. Your goal is to find theta. These are angles in standard position. So if you were to sketch them, you would have two angles in quadrant, uh, in, in between zero and 360, one in quadrant two, one in quadrant four.